Now let's talk about another important use case, uh, which is very much specific to S3. S3 is the storage service, service uh, available through AWS, but the same concept is also applicable to uh, Azure Blob storage, right? So, but yeah, we will see S3 as an example here. So what is the problem statement? So the problem is that uh, if you guys know how direct connect works, uh, then you will be able to understand it. If not, then it will be a little bit of a struggle for you, but there is a, you know, plenty of information available on our community uh, site where you can uh, understand this, uh, this problem and then um, how we are actually solving it. So when you purchase the direct connect and you connect your cloud AWS to on-prem, the direct connect gives you something called a public WIF for you to connect your on-prem to your storage right, your S3 storage to be very precise, S3, S3 buckets. So yeah, so that's the public wave there, but the problem is that AWS will advertise all those public IP addresses to your on-prem because this storage is actually sitting on a public IP address. You basically get a fully qualified domain name to access your S3 buckets. So, so all these IP addresses are advertised to your on-prem. And um, now, Anybody in the on-prem can use this direct connect to connect to their, their buckets, right? So you have the corporate account and then you have the personal account. Anybody can use this direct connect link to connect to their buckets. That is not good it, because it causes some security concerns, right? Because now you have purchased the direct connect for your corporate, but there is a personal data that is going over, so you are, paying for the direct connect. There could be a situation where this guy is actually downloading a very large file or a movie or something. And then you are basically choking the bandwidth on this direct connect. And from the compliance point of view, that's not good, right? You wanna make sure that uh, the personal guys or the, the personal buckets are accessed through the regular internet path, not through this uh, DX path. Okay. So this is where we actually solve this problem for the customer and we say, you know what, you don't have to use the public WIF to connect to um, Direct Connect or connect to connect to your um, S3 buckets. So the solution that we provide allows you to have the private WIF and um, what you do on the on-prem, you point the corporate S3 bucket FQDN to the private IP address of our gateway and the traffic obviously is going to be redirected to the gateway and in the gateway we will create the policy to allow the traffic to go out towards the S3 bucket. Okay, so that's how we actually solving this problem for the customer. Okay, so now you're not advertising the entire S3 public IP range from AWS to on-prem. Your, uh, the customer DNS is resolving the the corporate S3 bucket names or FQDNs. And um, so when we point it towards this gateway, we automatically deploy ELB, the load balancer. And behind the load balancer, you will have multiple gateways for high availability. And once your traffic goes to one of those gateways, the policy will be enforced. And then you will uh, go out towards your corporate account. If there is a, a personal account or personal bucket that you're trying to access uh, this, the gateway will automatically block it. Okay. 